Hey everybody, it's Jared from VidEasy, and today we're excited to release a new product called VidEasy Direct. It is essentially that. It is directly within Premiere Pro CC 2017, and it is a powerful tool for anyone who's interested in making videos, whether a YouTube vlogger, a magazine show editor, a music video producer, wedding videographer, a filmmaker of any type, or a documentary filmmaker, uh, you're going to love this tool. Okay, so let's get started. If you go to Window Extensions, after you've installed it from the Adobe Atmos page, you'll see the panel is called VidEasy Direct. You open that up and it'll give you a login dialog. So I have a login, but if you don't, you can just go here and it'll take you to the page where you can register. You can create your account and once you have a VidEasy Premium account, you can go over here and log back in. And I have one and it is Jero. And we'll log in. All right, cool. So as soon as you're logged in, you can notice right off the bat here we have the latest uploads from VidEasy's expansive library automatically pulled in here as thumbnails. And as soon as you scrub your mouse over uh, the preview, you'll see it starts playing. Um, here we have a earth with the sun peeking behind it. Uh, we have some sweet fireworks clip here and some aerials. Uh, you can scroll down and just browse the latest. Here's another earth and some nice footage of of over the river and a barn some aerials which is really neat I mean this is already really cool I like this one let me favorite that um, I think this is really nice too I like the earth um, and let's go to the next page here and I'm just kinda like getting a feel and I didn't even directly search for any stuff so far but you can you can see the lightning fast preview I mean it's it's, it's instant um, and this is none of this is on my computer this is all cloud uh, this is all based through VidEasy's backend. And just go to the next page. And oh, these are pretty sweet. I like this. Let me favorite that. Let me go ahead and let's go ahead and download a clip. So let's let's see. I hit there's SD and there's HD. So you can immediately see that it's downloading the 4K and directly importing it in. So right away I have I can scrub right here. I can pull it into my source window and I can even pull that right down into my project. So I'm off and running already on a project. So that's already really powerful. So let's keep looking through here and okay, well, let's get an idea of what I want to do. I would like, oh, I like this one. Let me download that one. I would like to search for water. Let's, let's see what we have. Okay, that's importing. Let's search for water. What comes up? Let's see. Okay, well, we have some pretty cool options for water. Um, I like that ocean clip. Well, that's pretty neat. Okay, well, let's, uh, oh, that's, I like that. And so, right off the bat, you can see resourcing is is a lot faster uh, with this. So, so, I can go up here to my favorites tab, and I can see that, oh, wow, look at this. I have, I have all these with the favorites tag on these clips that are clips that I liked. You can go in here and you can unfavorite a clip. So let's say you don't want a clip in your favorites anymore. You can start to clear those right out of your unfavorites just by clicking the heart again. And I want to download these. I like that earth a lot. Um, and you can see that we also have a download um, manager. So these are previous downloads that I've downloaded recently I possibly today earlier and you can see that it's still downloading in the download manager over here and as soon as it's done it imports it directly into my project and this is a 4k clip of an earth in space it's CG so let's bring this clip down to the edit here and let's go ahead and see what we can make I want to pull in some water clips let's let's do like a little edit on on water um, I have this cool plexus thing here that we could we could use if we want to get into like the elements of water and yeah let's go back to our search results here and here I like this close up um, and this is something really neat that I that this is why we allowed the SD button so you can also download these clips in SD which they're instant so they instantly download to your computer and you can start building an edit right away 
So if you don't have like the great idea and you don't want to sit here and maybe you're on a slow connection speed or whatever, uh, you can instantly download these clips and pull them right into your edit. Uh, let's let's pull that in. Let's do a little clip here. Yeah, and you can pull these right in right away. And and these are small because they're 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 meant for proxy editing. And within the next release, we're going to allow a button to when you're hitting render, we'll have a clear or replace and render button over here, which will go through and replace all your proxy clips with HD clips uh, in the timeline and then render it out for you. So let's continue working. Um, let's get the HD footage of those. So I'm going to get the HD version of that. And I'm also going to get the HD version of this guy. And I like this a lot. And ooh, this wave is really cool. Yeah, I gotta click there. So you can see those are downloading. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start using what I already have downloaded. And this is the HD version of that clip. I can start pulling that in um, for my agenda here of water. Oh, this is neat. I like this clip. That's a good start point right there. So that's a nice wave okay let's pull a music bed down too let's go ahead and get our music file dragged in here so we can start playing back and edit for us I think there was another earth I saw let's see what we get for earth cool so here's a really cool earth right here I want to download that um, I like this eclipse here Let's get that eclipse going. I'm gonna go ahead and edit something together real quick just to show how fast we can actually work. And so already you can see here that uh, I have a simple edit built and just in a matter of minutes of footage that I didn't have to buy uh, all within the panel here. Um, so let's take a look at what I have here. So it's a little confusing, and I'm sure it's inspiring someone somewhere to appreciate water. One thing I want to mention is that if you click on the VidEasy logo here, it'll bring you back to the uh, most recent uh, uploads again. So you can get back to browsing uh, the latest and greatest that VidEasy has to offer here. So that's it, really. You can search, you can favorite, you can manage your downloads, you can pull everything directly within. Uh, Premiere Pro here and never have to leave. Well, that is it for the VidEasy Direct panel. We're really excited to get you guys using it. And if you don't already have a VidEasy account, make sure you go over to VidEasy.com and register an account so you can use the VidEasy Direct panel within Premiere Pro CC 2017. Till next time, this is Jared with VidEasy. I hope you enjoy VidEasy Direct. Mm -hmm.